As a leader, now that you have a grip of how you will lead the group and how you will unite the group together, yeah. how did Emirates train you as a leader? My name is Mayville and in our channel we talk about lessons about life and even in career as well. If you're interested in topics like this, please hit like, click subscribe and also hit that notification bell. How did we train as a leader? Hmm. Because it's not easy. As you said, it's not an easy. What you undergo to become a leader for Emirates, it's not easy. For me, sometimes I, I feel like actually being a leader is not trainable. No, <laughs> it, it's, it's either within you it's or not. It's in, inside you or it's not inside <laughs> you. Because what Emirates does is when you're a leader, you're a leader, naturally. Now, what they do is to give you the parameters of running your leadership. Mm -hmm. They give us a lot of leadership training. We go to the training school. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get all these training uh, modules. And then on the job, it doesn't stop there. They do webinars to make sure you are well updated. It's not something that, oh, I've graduated. Now I'm a pastor and it stops there. Mm -hmm. No, it's a process of progress. Mm -hmm. Every year we go, we go there, you talk, they give you the modules, what we, what's the topic, what are we going to discuss about. And then we do role plays. Mm -hmm. Somebody else will be acting as a crew. Oh, how are you going to solve this conflict or this problem? And then they want to see whether you're still there or you've lost it. <laughs> so I like it because it's not just as soon as you graduate as a person, that's it. No. In Emirates, they keep a constant training to yeah. refresh your skills, mm. to refresh the tools that yeah. you need to handling a group. Yeah. If there is one thing that Emirates taught you mm. on being a leader, what is that? Patience. Patience. Oh. It's not one. Should I say more? Okay. Yeah, by all means, by all means. As a leader, if you don't have patience in you, I'm telling you, you will be screaming <laughs> everywhere. You'll be <laughs> stripping the head. <laughs> you have to be very patient, guys. Any leader, whether it's Emirates or anywhere, be patient. Number two, confidence. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Just know, okay, so this problem has come. I have it right. What do I need to do? Be confident. Mm -hmm. Decision making. Do you run away? Oh, like some people, when they see a problem coming, they disappear. I've they gone with them. They go and hide in the toilet. <laughs> no, guys, you have to face it. Mm -hmm. You have to face any problem that comes and make decision quick. You know, if you let it slide, that's what I said. You know, dealing with people is not that easy. Because the moment you lose it, you've lost yourself, you've lost them, and to bring that trust back is very hard. Wow. So as what Janet said, number one, <laughs> you have to have patience. Number two, you must be confident. Yeah. When you're wearing that uniform and you're given that position, be confident to make decisions yeah. and make decisions fast. Yeah. You have to be a quick thinker. Quick thinker. It gives you that power. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at you. What do we do? Yes. So, you know, you've flown for 17 years. Yes. That's a long time. Yeah. For the 12 years that I've flown, I always make sure when I fly with amazing leaders, yeah. because there are, yeah. you are one of them. Yeah. When I fly with them, I really make sure that I get to express that to them, whether by sending an email to the manager. Yes, to them. I say it to them. Wow. I send an email to the managers nice. as well. And it really motivates us, yes. you know, because yes. most people usually forget to appreciate any pastor. Yes. Yes. They want us to give it, but mm. they don't. <laughs> they don't give it back. And this yeah. is what I say as well, like to the crew that I, you know, when we sit after a service, yeah. I always say, if you think that she's nice, send an email. Don't just tell yeah. me. Tell her and tell her manager mm. so she knows because they have so much weight in their shoulders. They're yeah. expected to always give appreciation. Like some crew, oh, my purser doesn't appreciate me. But if mm. she's doing well, are you appreciating, appreciating well? them, yeah. So this is a lesson that if you're watching, maybe you're not a flight attendant yet, and maybe you are employed, whether you're still in school. If you see, if you like your teacher, your teacher is a good one, make sure that she or he knows. Oh, there you go. If you're working in the office, your manager is an amazing one who inspires and motivates you, let him or her know no, because it yeah. makes a difference, right? It does. Or it mm. does a big difference because I'll go on the next flight. Not, yes, yes you know that I I'm did. doing the right thing. So there was an impact, you know, mm -hmm. I made somebody's, gave a positive impact on somebody's life, mm -hmm. yeah. For you, since you handle a team and mm -hmm. usually when you do flights, it's not a small team. Yeah. We're not talking about the customers, but the crew that the you crew handle. Itself, yeah. How many crew do you handle usually? Oh. For them to know. Okay. Depends on the aircraft. Now, yeah, like I said before, we have Boeing 777 aircraft and we have the Airbus 380. On a Boeing 777 aircraft, when you have a full complement of crew, we are 16. That's a lot. 
that is just cabin crew plus two pilots or four pilots depending on which flight you're going so let's say let me put it on the higher side on boeing 777 you will have 20 mm -hmm. cabin crew and cockpit crew mm -hmm. that's on boeing 777 on airbus 380 when you oh. have a full complement yeah. of cabin crew we have 26 mm -hmm. and then you have four pilots if, depending again on the destination so you have a Thirty people. Mm -hmm. That's just your team, and that's a lot. It's a big it's, number. It's a big number. And these are the people you've not met before. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you meet once in a while with mm -hmm. someone you've flown with before, but more, in many cases we are meeting new people in the briefing room. You have never seen them exactly. in your life. Rarely do you fly with them again, right? Rarely. Rare. It's very rare because we are we are many. Twenty thousand. You know? Yes. Yeah. As you handle a team, Janet, how do you make sure whether it's sixteen or twenty or twenty-six? Yeah. How do you handle them? What is in your mindset all the time when you go on a flight? How do I take control? How do I take charge? Let me tell you my or one thing that I tell the crew. This color should not lie to you. Because sometimes people use this brown uniform as a power trip. The moment you let your crew know that this should not put any barricade between you and me, then they are confident enough to approach you, to tell you. They don't lie to you, you understand? They have that confidence, they trust you. Mm -hmm. And you should also trust them. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you get in the flight and you're like, I'm just here but I don't trust anybody. That one will ring in your head and it will manifest mm -hmm. and things will just go wrong. Mm -hmm. So go there, give your expectations. Set always remember to set your expectation again. You cannot just go and say, Oh, guys, it's fine, you know, I'm very easy going. There's nothing like very easy going. Mm -hmm. You have to also follow the company rules, right. set your expectations, get the grip, and let people know that yes, Janet is nice, but if something goes wrong, <laughs> or if I make a mistake, 180 <laughs> degrees. So, but don't let that come out, mm -hmm. you know. I always believe in giving people second chances or giving the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. I always believe in talking to people before I start judging you because I'm not a judge by the end mm -hmm. of the day. I'm just there as, like what I said, as a leader and to right. give guidance and mm -hmm. coaching and uh, develop people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not an easy task <laughs> because you have to bring people out plus handle yeah. issues, you know? So it's not an easy task. No, mm -hmm. it's not. People think it's easy, but it's, it's tough. Yeah. So for you, Janet, if I may reconfirm, you said that as you handle a team, yeah. you tell them that I'm approachable you can come to me yeah. don't let this uniform be a hindrance for you to yeah. not because people out have to, you know they, people scared. have spoiled names like mm. the moment you see a brown uniform cut the corner mm. no no you cannot stereotype mm -hmm. you we can't stereotype everybody everybody has different leadership styles give people the chance mm -hmm. I give you a chance give me a chance also to see how we, we are going to, to run I like it flight so yeah. for you as yeah. you handle a team what is the best team for you and i've always had best teams by the way i, I rarely have bad <laughs> bad team <laughs> bad team yeah first in the briefing room mm -hmm. let's let's start from there yes we are there to motivate you but you actually are the self-motivator mm. if you are not motivated yourself then it will be so hard for anybody to motivate we can only try so you get into this briefing room and everybody's like hey hi hi mm -hmm. You just feel that vibe. Now you leave the briefing room, you're in the aircraft. Things are just being done, you know. Mm. Because like I said, we go through different trainings. Yes, of course we are human beings, we make mistakes, we forget, but you get in the aircraft, people are just busy doing their job, taking, uh, preparing for the flight, taking care of the passengers. If I go mm. to first class, people have prepared drinks, they have prepared mm. pajamas, mm. you know, those things that we need to do. You go to business class, every the mm. lounge is clean it, mm. you know it's looking you don't have to tell people okay guys we are boarding how oh, i don't see people in the <laughs> guys go to <through> <laughs> you know they're just doing they're mm. going there i'm like wow mm. this is amazing mm. they are there they want to assist passengers they are meeting customers mm. so happy assisting mothers with mm. kids and uh, elderly people customers uh, with um, impairments mm. and all this you just feel like this is a team that I want. Mm -hmm. You're not telling anybody, oh, you guys, you need to do this, mm -hmm. or you need to do that. Yes. They're just doing it. I like it. And they are not just doing it to show you I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. They're doing it how, out of their heart. Mm -hmm. You get these teams, actually. Mm -hmm. But again, also, it depends on you as a leader as well. Mm -hmm. Give that trust 
that I trust you that I know you will do it. Yeah. Nuggets of wisdom right there from Janet. <laughs> I love it so much, especially if you are an aspiring flight attendant. She already shared her secrets right there. If you want to be an effective worker, if you want to be an effective flight attendant, make sure that you are already self-motivated. Motivated. Don't depend on other people to give you that happiness. Mm -hmm. It is a wonderful trait. A manager, a flight purser would already see it and appreciate it. Yeah. If you are someone who does the job well, yeah. and then once you do your job, you also go beyond. You also help others. And you also, you know, you're not somebody yeah. who is just being told what to do. Yeah. Leaders don't like to be no, you know, telling. They don't like you know, being on your neck and telling yeah. you this. Because it, it also pulls our energy down. Right. Why do you have to tell you, please? take drinks to the passengers yes those are the things you know people know and they do this in flights mm -hmm. you know emirates we have something called the weekend we, care, we have right. to take drinks every couple depending on which cabin mm. they just do it mm. nobody even is following mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and you know these are the kind of people after the flight like you're talking about appreciation i first i appreciate them and second i send emails to their manager oh. just to make them know that you know what i had such a great team mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh and after the flight i, I take them for tequila <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or white wines or Not white. now during Corona. <laughs> We want those days to come yes, back. Yes, yes. Oh, I remember that. You know it's a good flight. When everyone during a layover, yeah. meaning you stay in another country, when everyone's just gone down and yes. eating in the we restaurant together. All together. And yeah. you're like, That's oh really yes, nice. this was a great team. You know, mm -hmm. everybody comes down. We're just having a good time. Uh, guys, I'm about the drinking. I'm just joking, yeah? <laughs> or you could be serious. It's fine, Janet. <laughs> Say, oh, I'm gonna screw drink. No, no. <laughs> we just have a good time, you right. know. We go for dinner because it's rare. Like when you go on a layover and you have the whole team coming down, all having dinner, we just love laughing. Mm -hmm. You know, I like it as well. Mm -hmm. I miss those days. Yeah, we yeah. pray for this corona to go to finish <laughs> exactly because right now you can't even leave the hotel, you just no. have to stay in your own room. Oh, right, it's boring. It's boring. Oh. Yeah. yeah, let's dig deeper, mm -hmm. Janet, and let's talk about your thoughts mm -hmm. on leadership and on particular issues. Okay. Okay. So for you, mm -hmm. how should a leader handle conflict? How should a leader? What about you? How do you do it? Oh. Uh, wow, well, that's a nice question. <laughs> it happens everywhere, even with your own kids in the house, your own children, your mm -hmm. own brothers and sisters. Conflict has to happen. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only way we live. But first and foremost, please do not approach any conflict with emotions. Mm.